um, three, Mr. Arthur Wolf, March the 7th, 1996. You were talking about, uh, you got a paper from the authorities that yeah. you, that you have, you're going to be arrested. That's right. And you have to go to jail. Yeah. Because you? I went over the border without documents. Right. So, when I was already in the, in the lager, for three and a half years, when I get this paper, so I went to the manager from the, from the lager. I told him, okay, let me out now. He said to me in Russian, in Russian it's so precast near to. He doesn't have an order yet. I had noch nicht gekriegen an order. <coughs> so I was sitting a year longer. After that uh, year... Well, wait a minute. A year longer where? Did you go to jail? The, this, when I was sitting already in, Le in labor camp, when I was sitting already, so three and a half years, then I get the paper. Yeah. So I told him, let me out. It's three, I sit three and a half years. And uh, I have not three years to sit. He said... Oh, oh, I see. So you, you told him that you were three and a half years in the labor camp. Yeah. So that should make up for, yeah, for your yeah. term in prison. Yeah, from the manager from the labor camp. I understand. So that he didn't... So he said he hasn't got uh, um, nothing. In order. In order to, to let me out. Right. So I was sitting, it was... And again. the other people, did they go out? No, nobody. Okay. So oh, in... Uh, I was sitting a year, so when uh, after a year, this was in uh, 44, I think it was in the, so in the summertime, I don't know exactly the, the month, in the summertime, they let me out. And with me, there was uh, two Jewish people. One, the name was Bernstein, he had the parents, his parents, he was a, a Austrian, from Austria. And another was from Poland. So we went, three people we went out. And uh, from this labor camp to the station, there was a small, uh, a small um, truck to go there. We went there. And we came on the station, we bought a ticket, we got a, a, a piece of paper where we have to go, you understand? In, the, in this place where it's on the paper, we have to go there, because this was wartime, you understand? So, How did you get money to buy your train ticket? i tell you one minute. Okay. When, they, when they let me out from the, from the lager camp, they got me 90 rubles. And the other two guys, 90 rubles too, and they got the same what I have. We had to go in one place, in one old, this was Kulbyshevsky Oblast. The main, uh, the, the, this was Station Klavlino. There was only maybe uh, 20 houses there, anyways. Klavlino was the name of the place? Yeah, this was in Kulbyshevsky province. Anyways, we came on the station. Yeah, they gave us from the lager. They gave us for, for, for 10 days. For 10 days, they gave us food, bread. So I had a four kilogram bread. And I had uh, uh, some chai, tea. The tea was from, uh, from uh, what if in the forest, the, the um, how do you call it? The Plant. Uh, there was uh, from the from the blueberries mixed with the with the with the list, with the, with the uh, yeah, and this they gave me a, a, a small package, everybody. So in ninety ruble, in the piece of paper where we have to go. We came to the station, so we want to buy. They they came to the station afternoon. We asked for a, for a ticket, so he said, the, the man on the, on the station, he said, 
the, the train is due on one in a, in a day, only one in a day. And uh, the ticket is 120 rubles, 120 rubles. Instead, I had only 90. So this means the guy, he gave us the money, he cheated us for 30, for 30 rubles, rubles. So we came on the station, we didn't know what to do. I was so hungry, I ate the whole my, my bread that I had for 10 days, in an hour. And I wasn't enough, I wanted to eat more. So I ate, instead to drink tea, I ate the tea. There were blueberries and different kinds there. Uh, yeah. So anyway, they were sitting there, we had, to, we had to wait for the other day, for the, for the train. A ticket, I haven't got a ticket. So it was a, this came, uh, we were sitting there, this came a, a Russian guy on the, on the station there, in the Vaxal, in the, where, where you wait for the, for the train. And he was looking at us. I was, I had a pants, and I had a, so, Schwarz, black in black, in shiny. The the kurtke, a kurtke, a overcoat. A jacket, yeah. What a tractorist. At at uh, he threw it away there. And here in the front, there was uh, rip it off. There was a with a from a from a yeah from a handtuch. From a towel. For a towel, there was a piece of paper uh, uh, to put in instead because this was ripped out. And shoes I had from the um, from the tires, from the tires from the from the trucks, uh, g g uh, made shoes there. So this, he came to us, the Russian guy. He asked us where we come from. I told him from Lager. He said. Oh, he knows, he was, uh, oh, uh, he was there too. So I told him, we have uh, to buy a ticket, the ticket is 120 uh, uh, rubles, and I have only 90. What I have to do, he said, I, I'm a poor man, he said. I haven't got the money, no. you know what? They're not far from here. It's a street, it's a big city, Vologda. There's a Polish, from the Polish Patriotov, there's a big committee there. They got, from America, they, they had help, help from America, they got everything there. You go there, and maybe they will help you far. The ticket is not so much. So, the ticket was we bought it. We bought all three, we bought the tickets, was 60 rubles. So we had 30, 30 rubles we had left over. And there they, bought, they sold some, uh, uh, some buns. So f for 10 rubles a bun. So I bought three buns for the 30 rubles that I had. And I ate them. And the next day we went to, uh, we went to Vologda. Vologda was its place. And there we came, and uh, we, we went there to the manager from the from the Polsky Patriotov. From the, this is was a, cl a club, and uh, he took us. He gave us. Uh, he took us to the to the uh, to make a bath because we were not so clean. You understand. And uh, he gave us uh, um, from his uh, depot what he got there, the, the, the things, the, everything he gave us. Uh, Angelski, voice, uh, uh, Angelski from the soldiers, suits like this. Angelski, Mondo. that's suits? Mond yeah. That's uniforms like? Uniforms, yeah. Angelski uniforms. Uh, 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 a hat, a, a Angelski, shoes, everything from top to the bottom, new. After the, the we went in the, after the bath. And he gave us uh, a lot of uh, food, 
this is in 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 uh, mail uh, this means uh, yeah so what you all everything need you understand we had a full sack there and uh, he said no money I can if I haven't got money I can give you money no I give you everybody I give you a sweater I give you a glass poor glass and something else I don't remember and you go on the on the plus on the market on the market on the black market and you sell it and he told us the price what we have to take for this you understand so for the sweater I took 800 rubles for the for the glass yeah. I took 250 and everybody the people came and they bought it you understand because it was this wasn't uh, made in, in Russian this was made in America you understand it was good stuff so I sold it and uh, uh, it's the, yeah besides this I had that sweater for myself too you understand he gave us everything what we wanted it was very nice there so and we wanted to stay there in this place we went to the police the police said no you have to go there where you got the papers because uh, you come from a, from a lager from a uh, labor camp and the labor camp is worse was worse than a, a prison you understand this was worse because everywhere you want you went you had a, a, a soldiers behind a soldiers behind you with a gun you understand and he doesn't uh, the soldiers there's uh, um, how, how can I tell you that uh, a horse is more worth than a than a, a, a human there you understand yeah, so it's it's not a big difference to 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 shoot up in a man uh, he's a prisoner anyways you understand he's not a a grashtanin this is not a citizen no half citizen so we on we went far we went in the uh, we went to the train we bought their ticket again there because we had money now you know we had over a thousand dollars over a thousand rubles there everybody you understand so we were three and one guy he went before us he went there in this place where we had to go and the other guy I was a little bit uh, not so good I was very very you know how you call it uh, not so strong you understand I had uh, 40 kilos the whole thing I couldn't go I was very 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 bad I was so I couldn't go like him he was stronger than me and the second guy there from Austria he was the same thing he was a little bit uh, older you understand he couldn't go so fast so we went on the stations and the other guy he went away before us anyways with the other guy we went in the in the train the next day and we go the train is there in the in the first floor in the main floor you sit then you got a second floor you can sit there and sleep you got a third floor you can see uh, sleep there so we went there and we were was this a passenger train hmm? was this a passenger train a passenger yeah yeah or you can go from from inside to the whole thing to the whole uh, train you could go so the people the russian people they saw us they had the uniforms oh wow said soldiers what kind of soldiers they are they got uh, on the uh, on the mondo uh, on the uniform so they asked us where we, where we come from we told you the same we come from the lager and oh mostly they told us i was there too i know and they brought us food one woman they brought a, a fish and cooked already only to eat you understand in bread how much you want that was when the train stopped this was in the train in the, in train. the train the train was rolling going so then uh, 
where the devas are, are all the women they took for me the the heart and we went through the the whole thing they went through and they came back she brought us uh, 800 mid something rubles for the heart no in the heart she took the heart oh, she for the oh. people to go she went oh. from the people to she the people. collected money, money in yeah. your heart yeah. i understand the government said the, the money was over uh, 800 uh, rubles, you understand? So we went, we went, we went. I never was there. I didn't know where to go out from the, from the, from the train. You understand? Because uh, the train doesn't say there is a, a sign. Or maybe where I was sitting there in this, in this uptile, there wasn't, there wasn't the sign. I couldn't see the sign. So I, we went, we went, we went, we went. Okay, we came on the station there. We go out, the, the, the colleague with me, the Habe. What was his name? Burstel. Burstel. Uh, I forgot the first name, I don't That's know. That's okay. Burstel. We went out there, we came on the station, Klavlino. There we had to go, Klavlino. We go out from the station, you don't see a house there. You don't see a house there. You have to go far away. There was a station, there were only 20 houses, not more. You understand? Uh, so I stayed there, stayed there. What, what, what kind of, of, uh, of city is this? I don't know, I don't say nothing. He said to the guy, well, you know what? The, in the, the train stays there an hour. I told him, guy, you know what? The train stays. Come back in the train before we go farther. We went in the train. We, we were there maybe uh, 20 days. We went with the train around, 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 because it was very good in the train. The people got on some food, you understand, everything. He said, OK, let me sit there. We went there. As, uh, one day, we went there, the, the milits, there's not, not police, more milits. The milits came, oh, Chepuske, the idea, vice me that day. So we went, I saw you before, I saw you three weeks ago. Where you are? I said, I don't know where to go out. I don't know. Oh, the next, the next time we come to the station, I threw you out from it. So we had to go out, we went out there. Was a station. This was in the the summertime, hot. So we went there, and the government uh, a job. What was the name of this place? Where this place Klablino. Oh, you went back to Klablino. Yeah. Okay. The first time, the first time I saw no houses there, nothing. I said, "What kind of city is that?" He said, oh, "There's nobody there. Nobody. Only the, the train stays there." So and the I, second I, time you found the houses. And the, the second day I had to, because they don't let me in. <laughs> so we went there in and we went around there again. Only the, the police threw us out, you understand? So we went there. So what did you see in Klablino? In Klablino, we, had to, we had to live there in Klablino. What was it like? Was it a city or a village? It was like a village. There were only 20 houses there. The, 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 the mill where, where she was working, and there was a gips about. They make gips. They burn the, the stones, and they make gips. A gips factory. Yeah. So I was there, we were there, and uh, they gave us a job to be uh, um, to, uh, what, on, on the field. They had the, the potatoes. You understand? To, to gather? To look after them. Oh, okay. To look after. Nobody steal it, you understand? Yeah. So, my father there, Burstein, and I, he was at night, I was at day. Then he was at day, he was at night. I was at night. And we, 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 we were there, and we were working there. So later... And that was near the Gibbs factory? Yeah, this is uh, by the f a, a little bit outside, right. not, not far. Right. So did you meet any people from the factory? From the factory? Oh, yeah. All the people. 
Who were the, they? The people, the, the, this was a gift award, and they got the small, uh, small, uh, um, how you call it this? They, there was a, a Tell me a war that uh, they make shoes. Oh, a, a workshop for yeah, shoes. A workshop for, for tailors. Ah. You understand? In uh, we were on the on the field. Uh, now when the field in the winter time, we had to work there. So they came. I think they got a, a, a I don't know. I got a barn. They make these the 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 leather. So I was working there. And they uh, have a auch. So we was working there. We were working till uh, 19, 19, 19, 1946. After the war? After the war. Yeah. Yeah. So the, war, the war was in uh, 95. There was a big holiday there. The, in the end of the war. The 40, end of the war. In 1945? Yeah. There was a big holiday there. They got us some uh, some vodka. And they got double bread. You understand? So, and then we had came. Uh, it came in our place. Came a guy from the, from the next city. He was uh, uh, he was working for the Zionzek Polskich Patriotów. This for the club. The office the Polish of the Patriots. Polish Patriots, right? Yeah. It was a club for the Polish Patriots. And they said to us, uh, this uh, is Kim, they, they have a, a, a contract, so all Polish people can go home when they want. You understand? And that was in 45 or in 46? 46. 46. I see. Okay. Yeah. In 46, so, yeah. I had uh, met my wife. With my wife, we were married then by the Russian in 1905, how 1945. Did you, how did you meet your wife? She was working there. Where there? In the in the in, the, in a mill zavod. They make uh, no how do you call it a mill. A flour mill. Yeah, a flour, a flour mill. mill. Yeah. She was working in a flour mill. And what your wife was also a refugee. She was a refugee too. She came with from where? She came from the, from Poland too, from Vlodava. So I made her there, and we 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 were married there in 1946. Oh, we were there. Oh, I think seven Jewish people from Poland. Seven. There was a whole family. There was. Uh, there was, uh, they had uh, two kids, the parents, and a, a sister from the, from the, from, yeah, a sister from the, from the parents, from the one parent. And uh, the guy came from the club, from the Polish Patriotov, and uh, we filled out the papers. And we, uh, we, I was working. I was a, a few times in this city. Then I make all the for all the people for, for all the our seven people and make the papers to go home to Poland. In 1946, we came home in Poland. Why did you want to go home? What? Why did you want to go home? Why? Because I didn't. I didn't see the future in Poland. In Russia, you mean? I couldn't go out uh, from the from this city. I couldn't go out because I never get a, a idea, a, 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 a piece of paper to go in the next city because I was branded like a prisoner uh, uh, from the from the labor camp. You understand? A spy. The Russians branded you. Yeah. Right. The Russian branded you. Okay. <coughs> so we came in in uh, 1946. We came to Poland. How did you get there? They got us uh, wagons, and then it was a lot more, you understand? So they make a, a whole train. And they, from, from every city, they, they put on a, a, a wagon more, you understand? They have one wagon too. So they make a whole train, and they came over the, uh, we came in Poland uh, to, 
to Opolu. Opolu. Yes. This is in in uh, this was in Poland. In uh, yeah. there, there we, uh, the people went made with other people. They already was uh, were there. You understand? They were in other in uh, in another province in the by the Russian. How uh, far was Opolu from Katowice? The, this uh, this in one province. Uh, this maybe a. Uh, uh, Three four hours to go by train. Right. Yeah, so how long did you stay in Apollo? In Apollo, we don't. We didn't. We, uh, we came in Apollo, and there everybody spread away. You understand? They took us in the in the before German uh, provinces in uh, Nieder Schlesien. Oh, there was our Langen Bilau. There we came in Langen Bilau. What was Langen Bilau? Langen Bilau, this is a, a, a small store, a small town. There was maybe uh, 30,000 uh, people there, not more. No, a nice town. And uh, we get there, there was a, I don't know how the, uh, a P U R. Poor. And they got, we had uh, everybody had a piece of paper from the from the Russian, so we could go over the border. What was the what was this P U R? What did that mean? This was an organization where you have to register. I see. From you come from the Russian, you come there in okay. Poland. Okay. Right. In the poor, they gave you the P U R. I don't know. Do you know Polsky, what? Yeah. I don't know. Polsky urgent. That's refugees, Polish refugees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ujnitsa okay. is just like an a office. You okay. understand? Okay. A Polish office for the uh, repatriants. Okay. They, 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 took, they, took, uh, they, they took all the papers away. You understand? And uh, so, that's it. We, right. were, we were in Poland. In Poland, I was working. Wait, wait a minute. Did you go back to Katowice? Uh, not, n not in this place. Later around, I was in Katowice. Did, were you, what happened to your mother? My mother, she died in Auschwitz. How do you know that? I was in Katowice later around, and I was looking. So they told me nobody is here. Who told you? In the in the Jewish community. In the Jewish community. In the Jewish community, they told you what? Hmm? What did they tell you? Nobody came in. She she haven't got she haven't got in the in the in the things a name like this. You understand? So did did they tell you that they took the people from Katowice to Auschwitz? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to stop now, and um, we're going to continue. Thank you. That's. I haven't got so much to do.